everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So lovely to have you join me live. Um, so good to be here today. Welcome to the Center for Effective Serving. My name is Valerie Ling. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also the director and founder of a mental health and well-being practice in the leafy suburbs of Sydney by the name of Gordon, uh, by the name of Center for Effective Living. Center for Effective Serving is the second venture that uh, we are launching, which is really a dedicated space in the resilience and leadership uh, arena when it comes to people who basically work for people. If you are a helping professional, if you are in the business of leading others, if any of your main work uh, involves the interaction and delivering of services to people for people, then this is a space for you. For a long time now, I have been very, very interested in the area of burnout, and I'm fast realizing that the classical definition of burnout is rather limited at this point in time when we look to see what is happening with those of us who actually work in the people professions. Exhaustion is the thing that we are dealing with. Whether or not you classify that as burnout, um, we are exhausted. And I have been able, very, uh, very blessed to take 2021 to be on a thought uh, journey, if you like, taking some time away from my clinical practice to really answer the big questions of why are we so exhausted? Is this something that we just accept? I think not. And what do we do about it? And as I've already started the year, I am recognizing that different professions, different industries have got some things that are the same, but some things that are very, very different. And that's where I hope to come to you in this space to bring you some of the general thoughts and tips and strategies around exhaustion and resilience, but also the specific things that matter to your particular industry. I'm also really interested in sustaining leaders, the leaders of the people who are serving the people, who's taking care of them. What do we know and understand of the demands that are placed upon them in the exhaustion and in the grind of trying to do the right thing and not always knowing what that is. If you work in the people professions, uh, whether you're a teacher or a nurse or a, a health professional or in pastoral care, a lot of what we read in leadership books is really hard to apply on the ground. Uh, if you work for a non-for-profit, for example, some of the values and the principles and the bottom lines that you are attending to and what you are leading your team or your group to achieve is not always the same as what we would be expecting if you were in some other corporate commercial uh, setups. And so I'm really keen to invest my year to do the thinking and to bring you the summarized version and the implementables from what comes out of this year. So stay tuned, make sure that you follow the Center for Effective Serving, spread the news, invite people to come on board this is the place to be if, you, if you're trying to answer the same questions that I am. Catch you soon.